Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. And today I am here to start sharing with you my last of my 2018-2019 catalogue cards. Now these are the cards that I made on the weekend and in my saying goodbye class. So uh, majority of the products that I'm using on the cards today except for one, well, except for two technically um are retiring so just give me so if you are popping in please say hi so i am using and i'm going to flick my screen so you can read what i'm doing always freaks me out when i flick my screen so i'm going to be using the cake soiree stamp set Sorry. Hello, thank you so much for joining Renee, Donna and Rose. I have a beautiful sunny day today. Hello, Christy. Now this is the other part of the Cake Soiree stamp set, but I'm not using anything out of this, uh, the second part of the stamp set. All uh, three images that I'm using is out of this one. Hello, Juanita. Thank you for sharing, Linda, and hello. So I'm also using the Broadway Bound Specialty Designer Series paper. So you can see here that the paper is foiled and we are also going to be doing some embossing. So you can see here that there are some products that are retiring and just a few that are staying because I've got to share the love equally. I love the things that are staying. Now I am going to get up my inventory status report while I'm here so hopefully everything that I'm using is still in stock because you know that's a, that's a risk that other things that I'm using are not in stock. Um, da, da, da. I think we're all good actually. I think, uh, that's Storybrook, not, uh, gonna be under C for cake. Thanks for sharing, Winita. Okay, so, no, everything that I'm playing with today is still in stock. Hooray! I like that more and more though are uh, going on to not available. Hello, Miss Shelley. Um, so yes, I'll show you again these cards that we will be making today. I'm going to be making three of each because I had a bit of sickness uh, with my customers over the weekend. So I have extra kits available. So I'm just doing a rejig here. I, cause I actually did the class on the weekend here at my craft desk, which was a bit fun. because I didn't have to drag everything from the craft room to the dining room table. Um, so yeah, I had crap from one end to the other and I'm still trying to reorganize and transition um, out all my retired products so I'm sort of taking a section at a time so it was a bit disastrous when I looked at the craft desk and went <gasps> uh, but that's okay I've got room for my laptop which is my second screen and I'm just going to get that up and running because I am going to flip put you guys up onto my holder turn off the light and we will get started uh, with our cards. I have done some prep work. I did some prep work for the class and I've done a bit more prep work this morning. Um, so I will um, do, I will show you that. Now, if we are having any connection issues, let me know and I can change that. So please tell me if I'm nice and clear as I flick myself around and um, then I can deal with it then. Hey Jeannie, thanks for joining. I'm just swapping you guys around. Oh, I've got my necklace cord on the desk. How rude. Right. Sorry about this, guys. Getting us all beautifully set up here. 
I'm thinking, yes, everything's oh, wrong button. I've got to change back that. There we go. And we are, sorry, I'm just going to cover this for a second and try and change this. I think that's a bit better. Hello, Eileen. Thank you for joining. Just getting ourselves set up here. Hello, Mr. Andre from across the ditch. I've got all my internationals today. I've got some Aussies as well, which is good. I will go and turn off my light and get rid of all these horrible shadows. And then we are ready to rock and roll. Okay. Light is off. I think I've done everything I need to do and we're ready to rock. And oh, finished dinner, dinner time to relax. Well, I'm glad I came on at a perfect time for you, Eileen. Hello, Miss Roz. Now, so these cards, I was saying I used this, just this one part of the Cake Soiree stamp set, but this is the are the part of the stamp set just i didn't use any of those images so i just used the present the cake and the best wishes um stamps so kept it fairly simple but i jazzed it up with this broadway bound paper now i'm only a fan personally of one side of the Broadway bound paper, which is the gold side. So on the other side, it's quite birthday themed. And we have that and we have this. So, you know, just not a huge fan of that paper, but I love all the gold paper. So that is those two. Ah, there you go, Andre. So, um, I got the Cake Soiree stamp set, just move my water bottle there, um, when it was in the occasions catalogue. And then it made its way over to the annual catalogue, so I bought it originally. Oh, I'm on a horrible angle up there. Do wonder if that'll fix it. So, we have the great numbers and on the back of the gold numbers, if I can pick up the corner of this it's not playing we have oh no that's a different piece we have this really nice and i want to say it is gray granite i'm correct i really like this pattern the bobbly pattern which is great we have the nice um stylized stars we have a nice lemon lime um, twist stripe we have the black gray and gold confetti with cupcakes and birthday cakes on the back we have these really nice candles and then we have the stylized uh, red I'll find out what red that is that is lovely lipstick so the lovely lipstick. So I like some of the B-sides, but not all of them. Hello, Miss Laurie. Thank you for joining. So that's the paper. Sorry, the angle of this is really annoying me today. I think I'm straighter now. Sorry, it's going to annoy me. Hello, Janine. Yes, you haven't missed much. You've just missed me gabbing on as normal. So what I have done and pre-done, and I'll show you the products to start off with, then we will get into the card making. So I have pre-embossed my presents with gold embossing powder. I have pre-die cut my swirly, is it swirly scribbles? Yes, swirly scribbles. Um die and this is the set and I will sorry I had everything pre-prepared in little baggies here so that is the swirly scribbles dies I never bought the stamp set that went with it despite how popular it was um, but I loved these organic shapes 
in the die set so I bought the die set which is what I quite often do um, with things I like the stamp set but don't necessarily think I will use the dies or I like the dies and not the stamp set so this is one of them so we are saying goodbye to swirly scribbles I'll pop that in my box over there and I also used the sweet cake framelits so this is the sweet cake framelits and I just used this cake so what I have done I have pre-cut my cakes out and I'm going to stamp them in Versamark with the Stamparatus and I have already pre-die um, cut the stitch shaped framelits and this is the largest circle which is two and a half inches so the sweet cake framelits I love this and I never ever used it this really sweet tag and you've got um, the cake base here or a skirt and you've got the flowers you cut out some of the flowers in the stamp set with these and you've got the beautiful um, cake topper um, nice bow and you've got all the leaves so you can make some beautiful things with it yeah exactly Andre and it's just I know what I use or I know what I want to show off to my customers um, quite often things don't stand out well in the catalog so I buy that product one because I like it and two I want to show its use to my customers because you can't show off everything fantastically in the catalog um, because we only have so many pages um, and the other thing we used and the name is totally escaping me is this banner punch so this um, hold on got my catalog here got my catalog here I may may or may not have gone too far we'll see I know I'm around sort of the right area. I think I'm going this way. Yep, I am. And this is called uh, the Duet Banner Punch. And I'm going to be using uh, both pieces. So let's get started with my stamping and embossing. And we'll go from there. So once we've done the stamping and embossing, it is a fairly simple process. So pop this banner punch. I am going to start by stamping six of the best wishes. And I have grabbed out a whole lot of scrap black cardstock. So I have to think about the way I am stamping this. Oh, I think I can say goodbye to that one. Oh, I've covered my bin with my embossing tray. Okay. So I'll grab all my scraps so they're at hand and I'm also going to prep my cardstock because these are scraps so I've had my hands over them multiple times is prep them with the embossing buddy. So this just um, de-statics uh, the paper so the embossing powder doesn't um, stick where we don't want it so it's a very fine powder it's really hard to show you but it does work trust me and if not I do have my handy dandy paintbrush to help us on the way I have my Versamark ink pad and I have my best wishes stamp hello Miss Patricia hello Angie thank you for sharing hello Karen so just making these best wishes banners so i'm hoping i'm just guesstimating here actually i'm just going to leave this here because i took the ink pad to karate last night because i'm making some uh, new catalog customer cards at the moment and because i'm spending so much time at the dojo with my children i want to use my time wisely 
Yep, that'll fit there. I won't need all these pieces, but better to have them all here and prepped. Oh, that one was not well stamped. So, pull this one in. Oh, I stuffed that one too. My dear word. Leave it there for a few seconds. There we go. Okay. I am trying to move fairly quickly so this ink doesn't dry and I can coat it all with embossing powder. Oh, that one didn't end up too badly, actually. Except for when I put my fat finger on the bee. Right. That is two, and I can remove that later. So I've basically done one extra, just in case. Okay. There and there. And... Uh, yeah, that one didn't work, so it was good. I've got an extra. That's perfect. Right. Um, I am going to melt these now before I do them. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Gail. Thank you so much. Just doing some heat embossing. Love doing it. I love seeing the change. That's where my finger was, and I will take the embossing powder off that one. Sorry, I'm just getting myself sorted here. And I just want to get rid of this line. And I'll just do that with this little one and tap off the excess into my tray lid on my Versamark, which I should have done before I started playing with powder because my Versamark pad always ends up coated in powder. So... How many did we... Oh, there's one over here. Ow. Now, there was a bit of an incident. Many of you may have seen it. Gail did ask the question about my class. There was a bit of... And it is a safety message. Um, that when you are using the heat tool, do not emboss over your crutch. And you may ask my class participant how we know this. Because she may have... Uh, well... Her, her crutch got very warm, let's just say this. It got very warm and um, she went, ooh, I shouldn't do that. And I went, ah, no, you shouldn't and had a chuckle at the same time. So I love watching embossing powder melt. It's just the most satisfying thing to watch embossing powder melt and get all glossy and beautiful so you see these aren't all perfect but we can certainly read the sentiment and the best wishes sentiment is going to work well for a number of occasions and the present card that I have done here um that can work for many occasions the only thing that makes it particularly girly is the flowers but that's okay so i'm not going to punch those out yet but i am going to bring in now where did i put it? i put it over here i'm going to bring in my stamparatus so a good thing to do when you are mass producing is i've made this jig and I'm actually just going to move that slightly and that's perfect. I have made this jig with my Stamparatus. I have just got this L piece that I use to bring it off the edge. Um, I had a friend who does framing. I know people who have melted their acrylic nails. Um, 
No, I've never successfully done that, actually. No, I have no. Hello, Corinne from France. Thank you for popping in and joining me today. Um, so I created a jig and I have pre-cut all my cakes. So I just took a very light ink. Well, I think I took Sahara sand or something and um, stamped within this already pre-cut shape. So all I have to do is pop in my die cut and I'm going to ink up my cake or shape, whatever. This works with all um, die cut matching stamps and dies. And I'm going to stamp this down, pop some even pressure on there. And that is stamped. Now, I'm going to be a little bit smart here or try to be and pick this up with my reverse tweezers and I'm gonna have to do I'm only actually going to do two cakes because I have a pre done one so just using what I have already here and just going to see Oh, that's not helpful. Just going to see if I can grab that one spot. I can. Perfect. Bring my heat tool back over. Actually, I'm going to move this because I don't want a melton area or a molten area. I'm using wrong hands. Hold on. Swap my hands. That's okay. Preheating is a really good thing. And just melt this. So hopefully you can see this change. Oh, I'm all back to front today. That's better. Beautiful. Now I've just got to try and do. I do quite often leave it hanging off my table. Try not to melt things and just get that one spot. One change. I've got that one spot and that's that one done. And I'm going to, no, that one's done. Where's the other one? Because I've realised I actually have quite a number of these cakes cut out, but that's okay. I've only got so much cardstock and other things prepped. Okay, pop that in the hole. The mark again. Done. Pop that over. Some nice even pressure. It looks like I'm putting a lot of pressure on, but I can guarantee you I'm not because... As many of you know, my hands don't work the best, which is why I use my reverse tweezers a lot. It gives me a little bit more control. Sorry, playing a bit of Jenga here. Just going to use this leftover embossing powder. Beautiful. Mm, not quite. See if I can get that. Uh, that's my stamping. Okay. Bring back my heat tool. Swap hands. And then you get, as you mass produce things, you actually get better and quicker as you go along because. The heat tool is uh, preheated, so the whole process 
gets a bit quicker. Now you could leave all of these till the end um, to actually die cut. Now I'm going to see if I can grab this corner and emboss it. Uh, maybe. We'll see. We shall see. It mightn't be perfect, but there will be a little bit of embossing powder there. And that's okay. Yeah. That's as good as that corner is going to get. So I have two cakes. I already have one pre-done up here. So what I'm going to do is get two of the vellum circles and just my snail because just a word of warning if you use any wet glue on your on your um vellum it will buckle it because the nature of vellum and i know because i've done it myself so just stick that there Hello, Beth. Thank you for joining. Nice to see you today. So North Carolina, I roughly know where you are. I have been to America as a... In my early teens, I was in America. So while I am here and doing this piece, I'm going to prep it with some dimensionals so I'll probably just use three I don't need a huge amount I just want to make sure it's even because uh, if I did like three in a row the top would um, want to angle down where if I use two at the bottom and one at the top I can do I can make it nice and even and none of you went off thank you Beth that's very sweet of you to say yeah I love finishing dimensional sheets and none of you went off at my dear friend Jamie for using my dimensionals not in straight lines after we turned off the camera I went oh, what have you done to my dimensionals and she goes what do you mean it's like oh, you've wrecked the order she just laughed at my OCD-ness. I hate getting out this first one. I generally... Okay, we're going for the one that wants to come up. Okay, so that's those done. That black paper can go to the side. And... Uh, where are my presents? Well, I've got the dimensionals here. And then we are up to assembling, which is actually... Nice, quick and easy. Oh, hello, Suzanne. Thank you. I'm glad you are enjoying. It's just me. Would you believe this one dimensional has the backing stuck to it? I'm trying to... Uh, I've got it off, but I've now got a hole. Right. That's better. Pop that over here because my bin is covered I think I'm going to go across working out which way I want to use up my dimensionals and I think I'm going to go three again and just two at the bottom oh, I could go four on this one because it is a square shape and I just embossed and hand cut out the present because it is a fairly easy shape you just have to go around um, the curves of the bows so that's the hardest um, the hardest bit basically so like with all my cards that I make a number of I try and do all the like processes together so I'd pre-done all my die cutting and I've done all my embossing roughly in a um, together. 
and I'm now doing my adhering and next I'm going to do my punching out of my sentiments with the duet banner punch so with the best wishes is going to go in this bottom one and then I'm going to punch out some of the white ones to layer over the black hello miss shannon thank you for joining oh, that wasn't good planning maybe it was i'm very lucky we'll see that might go in my granddaughter's box considering i got a full beautiful one there So I just want it roughly in the middle. I could have curved it if I really wanted to, but it's pretty much the right size uh, to just keep it straight. Pull out that piece. Hi, Lisa. Oh, I'm so glad I'm using your favorite set. I enjoyed using it as well. I went through all my display cards that I have out for my classes and to show customers. And some of the cards just made me smile. It's like, oh, I remember doing that. That was for that challenge and blah, blah, blah. So I have a whole big box to add to my, um, to add to my card. I have a big um a big box of cards that I when I send out my cards every month for birthdays and I send some thank yous and some encouragement cards to friends and so on who may just need a little um pep up in the mail because they've made or they've had some challenges or whatever in their life. Um, I haven't got enough room in between the best wishes for this punch. So I'm just going to split this piece of paper so I don't need to re-stamp. Mm, sorry. <sighs> Concentrating. Okay, that bit must have gone on my lap or the floor. Right, and one more to go, and then I will worry about all my white pieces. So, it's uh, there are a few bits to the card, but essentially, oh my God, yes I do, Suzanne. My 13-year-old son, who still loves dinosaurs, absolutely also approves of the stamp set and it will be one that I'm making. I actually got in trouble a few years ago because I sold the Dino Raw set, um, which I don't regret doing, but I'm not allowed to sell the set that retired most recently. Um, it's up here somewhere. And it is called, uh, I can't find it on my shelf now. It was dinosaur something, but I'm not allowed to sell that one. And I'm really happy we've got some paper and accessories uh, to go with it. I like that it's a whole suite. So I'm very excited to order that next week. And I may even get my... Um, my younger son, who really isn't into crafty things, but he does like it when I have things that interest him um, to help me with some cards. So I actually have both my children covered with Stampin' Up! stamp sets at the moment. I have one, car, one boy who is totally into cars so the classic uh the geared up garage set is perfect for him i've lost count one two three i swear i'd done four am i missing one somewhere no yeah one two three four and five and six 
Ah, uh, no bones about it. Yes, Sheila, that's the one. That is the exact one that I was thinking of. And six. Right. That is that done. I'm accumulating a whole lot of rubbish here. So just bear with me off screen while I get rid of some of that. Otherwise, there may just well be an avalanche. Okay. Yes, I really liked the two-step stamping of the no bones about it. There are a few rare stamp sets that I keep. Um just for occasions like like my sons and their friends and stuff like that so that is one of the ones I will be keeping so I'm just going to use no I'm not going to use this I am going to bring in my Tombow glue I'm molting onto my craft desk here and this gives me some wiggle room to pop these all together. Someone remind me to put the lid on when we are finished making the cards. Because it's always important, otherwise you end up with a big glue goober and a blocked glue. So what I'm doing, like on these cards, I'm leaving a little titch on the bottom and a little titch on the top. So then there is a nice outline. And what I think I'm going to do, I'm actually going to be extra smart and put the glue here on the piece I'm sticking to. Because that makes life so much easier. And then we're getting less glue on one's hands and we can keep tidy and work better okay oh that makes it faster woohoo so did everyone have a lovely weekend because it seems like forever since i've had a chitter chat with most of you i mean next weekend seems super close i'm already planning what I am doing. I'm heading up north with my son on Sunday. He has uh, some trombone tutorial, an all day trombone tutorial to go to. So that's fun. I won't come home. I'll find some something to do, somewhere to go. May even involve me taking some craft with me and being productive or using my car as an office. I've done that before. Most certainly done that before. Okay, that's four and two more to go. And then we are ready to assemble these cards. Oh, I'm glad, Donna. Really, really glad. Ours was quite nice. Besides voting, we had our federal elections here. Turned out a bit like uh, some of your girls' American elections, if you haven't heard. But, um, yeah, that's what the people did. We're excommunicating some of the states of Australia. Aha, holiday weekend. So Victoria, as in the place Victoria in Canada, because we have a state Victoria here in Australia. Ooh, nice. I like long weekends. We've got a long weekend coming up in June, which will be nice. Don't know what I'll do. Okay, well, uh, uh, that wiggled. Right, so that is all those flags done. I am up to, oh, if you were my card bases, where would you be? Oh, that's fair. Oh, they're down here. I can see them. I can see them. I can see them. So I need six thick whisper white card bases. Two, four, 
six and I have seven in my hand. So pop on back. Ah, Queen's birthday. Uh, yeah, Lisa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not quite, but it has been, um, it has been likened to it. Um, unfortunately, the environment was not a priority to a lot of us, a lot of Australians. So, yeah, people chose the economy over the environment, which is very sad for the future generations. But this is why we have we have elections, and unlike America, um, we it's it's actually compulsory if you are it's compulsory to vote if you are over eighteen and an Australian citizen. And I had coffee with my friend today, and she laughed because um, she didn't have to vote. And I just went, ha ha, don't like you. So she's a permanent resident, but she's not a citizen. Ah, uh, we'll live. Look, we're not going to die because of who's running our country. It's just some of the things I would have liked to have seen happen in the next term of government won't happen. But... I voted the way I wanted to, and yeah. Yeah, it is, and it's just because we have different, um, we have different political systems. So, yeah. But, ah, that's okay, the way things go. Okay, this is, I think that's, Two, four, five, yep, yeah, six. So this is the last card base. So thick whisper white card bases. And I've got all my card fronts here, which are pre-cut. So flip these all over. I think I need to change my mat. It's all ripped here and yeah. Hopefully in the next couple of days I'll be able to do that. <laughs> that is so true, Lisa. I stopped watching the news on television a long time ago. I'll listen to the news on the radio in the car, um, which is good. It actually promotes some um, really good conversations with my boys. And um, they, yeah, they listen. And the radio station I sort of listen to isn't politically affiliated so you normally get both sides of the coin which I think is important and this one I'm going to be smart again and put the glue on the card base this is a really good tip if you get quite gluey just doing it this way can make a really large difference you still get the same amount of slip or do I possibly not oh look that one's just gonna stay where it wants to All right that's fine close enough is good enough <laughs> yeah, yep. Stampin' Up! is a good way to... I like my crafting, I like my crafting people, and yeah. But enough about politics. Who wants that in their eventful and lovely life? Not me. It's just, it's been that kind of week. But I did get to go out for a nice walk and enjoy the sunshine on Saturday. So that was one good thing. Ooh, who's Carla? Do I know Carla, Lisa? Is Carla one of your friends stalking you on my videos? Ooh, 
So I really don't use a lot of glue and I do prefer using it in dots. Um, I just find I get a bit more even and better coverage doing it that way. Okay. And then once I smooth it out like this, all the glue goes... <laughs> oh lovely welcome Carla thank you for joining and a fantastic card maker yeah look if I some of the presenters on my radio station annoy me a bit so I do listen to music at some points so all my kids all plug in their phones and say oh mum have you heard this new song from blah 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 and they play their music. Otherwise, they have to put up with my 90s alternative music. <laughs> so, yes. Hello, Cheryl. Yes, yes. I just find dotting um, a lot more efficient for me because I find I use a lot more glue doing the squiggle. Um, and it doesn't necessarily get the corners. Um, yeah, so I normally do four rows and then I do in between. So it is strategically even. Oh, I must have had an extra piece of paper here. That's okay. I've got extra. So I will grab another card base because let's use what we've got, hey? Because I do have possibly... Yeah, I can stamp an extra cake. It's all good. Oh, that was a that was a big lean. Okay. So just in case you hadn't wondered, this is going to be a long one, and the next couple of ones will be because I'm using up what I have got. So it's not just a single card, it's multiple cards and just getting it all used. Yeah, so do most of you use dotting or do you use the squiggle? Because I know everyone's different or are there a large percentage of you that just hate wet glue? Because I know there is that minority out there that are not fans of wet glue at all. Like my dear friend Jamie who was on my last video. In case you haven't watched my last video and you are in need of a bit of a giggle, please go and watch. Because um, Jamie was quite hilarious. Okay, so now I have my pre-cut swirls and I'm going to use dotting again with these and I'm just going to strategically pop some dots on the thicker areas just so it adheres. You like Tombow glue? I'm glad you like Tombow glue Glenda. There as I said there is a there is a subsection that um, does not like it, but it's good we do have so many glues that um, we can... Uh, that stuck to my hand as I pulled it up, which is not helpful. And take a sentiment. Now, I do like that some of these edges are popping up it just gives a little bit of a dimension but I chose whoops I chose to use this black swell just to give the present some uh, grounding because we want I didn't want it just hanging there I did want it grounded so that's what I decided to use is that swirl and the same with the cake I use uh, the piece of vellum to uh, ground it 
just because it needs to be, which is why the stand is good in the die cuts. You can use uh, the stand for, yeah, I suppose you could even put the present on the stand. That'd be a bit cute. And, oh God, that's crooked as. And that is so much better. There's that card done. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm not going to ta-da everyone, I promise. You draw squiggles on. Certainly, Tombo girl. I've had cars falls apart using. Yeah, um, with snail. Um, oh, please excuse me. I'm going to have to have a swig of water before my voice fully goes. Um, quite on, there is issues with Tombow and, um, certain people's climates. That is absolutely an issue. For 24 years, you use snail. Yes, absolutely is embarrassing if you sell your cards and they fall apart. Okay, okay, yeah, it is definitely climate-based. Um, I've heard that of many people. So it seems to be the humidity. But really, if it doesn't happen straight away, it isn't an issue with card making as much, but it is certainly an issue with um, scrapbooking if it falls apart quickly because um you want to keep those memories oh thank you cheryl and this is a glue holder by a man uh local to me his company is uh central coast 3d printing and he just lives up and over the hill i live in a valley and he just lives on the other side of the hill and, um, yeah, if you are not in Australia, uh, I would recommend letting Google be your friend or Etsy. So I know um, I had some major, I, I saw it and went, oh, that'd be amazing. And then um, I don't lose it on my desk either. Um, I looked at the pricing for shipping from um, Etsy and almost died and then I went oh my friend Chris has a 3d printing business and uh, he hasn't stopped printing them since I've started using it yes that's right that's right the Tombow glue is a good price and it certainly does last a while but all the glues I find have a time and a place uh, as I said wet glue doesn't go well with vellum so I do use snail for that and I love the wiggle room of Tombow uh, because I don't often get things on straight the first time so it does just give me that uh, little bit of wiggle room which is always nice to have. Oh, I'm doing these the wrong way around. I'm putting... Oh, no one told me. I'm putting the cake on the dots. Huh. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, Central Coast 3D Printing. He is on Facebook. And if you say, I want a glue holder like Ellen's, he'll know. Because I've known um, Chris for many years. He's uh, done work with my children when they were in primary school. And now he's still at the primary school and does uh, 3D printing and fun sciencey things with the kids. Which is great. Oh, I am going to be a sentiment short, but that's okay. I'll make it work. 
we can make this work. It's not an issue. Okay. Right. Oh, okay, right. Fair enough. Okay, Donna, that's interesting. Okay, now I do have... I do have... Let's see what I've got in here. I do have a swirly bit in here. And I have an extra, oh, I've actually got two extra cakes. That cake might have to go in Ivy's pile. Okay. Now I'm just going to place this down and I will finish this card at the very end and see what we can work with as such. Oh, I've got a cake, but the cake might go on this. That's okay. It's all good. I've got everything here. I will pop this one beside my water bottle and we will get on to the cakes. So does anyone have anything or any technique? Oh my God, my whole body is now covered in dimensional backings because I got my whole arm in them. Sorry, just bear with me here as I pick them off. I went, oh, where's my pile gone? I put my whole arm in the pile because, hey, that's how I roll, apparently. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's okay. I thought I was missing this. I want to use my bin and I can't it's covered that's okay I'll just keep my little pile over here so yeah are there any techniques or anything you would like to see me tackle as part of these I'll be honest and tell you if that's not my thing but I know you all enjoy watching but I'd love to know if there's anything you want me to share above the norm that I normally share. Okay. Cake. This new pack of dimensionals is good. The backs are coming off really nicely. Now I could put a top or bottom, but I just like popping it off to the side to be different. Who are you nearly neighbours with, Donna? is good and one more and then we've got to work out what we're doing with this cake it might just be stamping it in like black or something like that we all make it work I'm sure we can do that Okay, so I think I may have got sunburnt this morning having coffee. Ah, okay, so what, like a town or two apart or? Come on, helps if I pick up the glue. Ah, right. Okay, so that is all my pre-prepared ones done. 
but we have this extra card base because we had this one extra that I didn't realize so I have a cake here doesn't matter I can I will so reuse that vellum piece as you all know I'm a bit partial to a piece of vellum um, I might just do it in like memento ink so I will quickly grab back over my stamparatus because we are still all set up here from that's perfect all still set up here from my last stamping my memento ink is right here I don't know if I'm going to wreck my memento ink pad because I didn't clean off the Versamark, but you know, these things happen. And I have the re -inker. Okay. Ta da! Uh, hang on. Ta-da! Done. I love using this and the fact you get such perfect results. Okay. I can clean that up later. And... Grab back out this big piece of white cardstock. And I'm going to stamp in the memento again with the best wishes and just punch that out with the big white one. And then I think this is my final card done and slightly different just because we're making it work. And the punch. If you were the punch, you would be right next to me. Oh, yes, that is what happens, Eileen. Would you believe my I was hovering right over you and got up the same information? Oh, my big scissors and just pop this corner off. And then we are all good. Da, da, da. Oh, God's sakes. Right, there we go. Right, that is done. Just a bit different. Oh, I've still got silly dimensional backings all over me. I swear I see them at various places I go because I've walked in them or whatever. It's actually quite funny. Right. More dimensionals because we can never have enough dimensionals in our world. Oh, I wrecked the order of the dimensionals. It's okay. It's only one line. By the time I do my next project, we'll be back on track. Okay. And see how this looks. Actually, it looks equally good in the black. Hmm, that's not straight. Lucky this um, designer series paper is forgiving. And my last bit of glue, and I must put on the lid. Look, this isn't my favourite card, but it's a done card. 
it's just probably a bit more simple than what I would normally do actually when you compare the two which do you prefer there's a reason why I used the um okay Glenda thank you I'm finishing up anyway so I'm going to put my stickers on the back of all the cards so then they are ready for my card box and sending out birthday cards ah, da -da -da -da. I can't even reach right so which card do you prefer the gold embossed or the black just curious to know and if you are giving a card to anyone please make sure you have your details on the back because you never know I I sold three cards on the weekend I had a customer who ran out of time and needed a baby card and I happened to have a baby card in my stash which was perfect and my mum needed two masculine cards so the gold very classy yes I agree Eileen but the black also is striking so it doesn't have to be a sticker it could just be your name and your phone number um, on the back but yeah so you never know, the people that receive the cards may want you to make something. I've made invitations for people. I did, I made wedding invitations. I've made uh, invitations for school functions for my children. I've made many, many things. Thank you, Philomena. So this is just a part of my process and then I put them in my, in our medium um, envelopes and then they are ready and safe for my card box. I've got so many cards to put in. I think I'm going to have to do a cull and a donate of my cards. Hello, Miss Leonie Newman. You've missed all the fun. I'm just putting my um, business details on the back. We have had lots of fun. This was a leftover card, so it's not quite as pretty as the other ones. But we have been making these cards. So using the Cake Soiree stamp set, we use the Duet uh, banner punch we use gold embossing we use the uh, swirly what did I say it was swirly scribbles um, dies we used the stitched shaped framelits dies now they're not retiring they're hanging around we use the stamper artist to stamp our cakes and we use the Broadway bound paper so I have made seven cards today I hope to be back um, Hopefully Thursday or Friday uh, to share some of the other cards I made using retiring products with my customers over the weekend. Have a lovely couple of days. Thank you for joining me and having a chat and I will catch you then. Bye.